Today, I'll show you how you can consume the nightly build drops of .NET Core. Hello, friends of .NET. I'm Emil Landworth, and you can find me on Twitter at TerraDrops. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can download and run against the latest bits of .NET Core. So when I say latest bits, I really mean flaming hot bits, meaning these are our nightly build drops. So every single time somebody submits a PR and we merge it in, every night we are building pretty much the entire product and we drop the whole product onto MyGit. And so you can consume those bits, but keep in mind, those are flaming hot. So they're unsupported, they're probably buggy. Um, and so, you know, just so you know what you're getting when you're doing this. The other thing I want to tell you is that the steps I'm going to show you today are probably also going to change uh, over time because we are continuously evolving our engineering system, our build system that we're using, where we produce bits. So this is our internal engineering that you get access to at the expense that you have to work with us and accommodate the changes that happen over time there. Without further ado, let me actually walk you through this. So in our CoreFX repository, I've loaded a new document under documentation project docs, and it's called doc fooding. If you've never heard of the term doc fooding, that's the term Microsoft is using uh, to indicate we're eating our own dog food. So this is our exercise of using early bits, uh, reporting bugs, and so on and so forth. And so this document basically walks you through the steps that are necessary. As I said, those are going to change over time probably. So every time you want to play with latest bits, you should probably go here and check out what the latest steps are to consume the latest bits. So first steps first, you need to get our build tools, meaning the .NET CLI, uh, on your box in order to do anything with our bits. Um, so here are the download links for uh, Windows as well as Mac OS. And uh, those are hardwired to always point you to the latest drops. Today, you currently also have to install the SDK because what is chained in by uh, these installers is not what you need. Um, so this will probably going to disappear, but for now, install the SDK uh, with the CLI, and then this particular 103 SDK that you need to download. All right, then the second thing is we need to configure our project. So let's just do this. I already created, um, let me actually get rid of all of those bits in here. Um, so what you would do is you would just create a new project with .NET new, and then let's just edit the project. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to have uh, a nuget.config that points to our nightly build drops. So what you do is you just create a new file, paste in the config from there, name this nuget.config, and put it next to the project file. The reason we're doing this, instead of changing our global configuration for nuget, is that this is really a, a dog fooding project. So we really want to make sure that when we resolve packages and we add our nightly feed to that, this doesn't interfere with any other projects on your hard drive. And the easiest way to do this is to have a private configuration that is only you know, relevant for this project. Otherwise, you may get into funny configurations because our nightlies may push some packages that will now interfere with uh, other projects because of the way NuGet resolves packages. So you don't want that, so keep this private to this particular project. All right, next thing we do is uh, we need to actually configure our project to consume those nightlies. And uh, again, the way the project is currently configured is probably going to change as we are shipping more and more bits. Today, the steps that are necessary is you just copy and paste the snippet here. You go into your uh, CS project, you just paste it over. And um, let me just explain what these settings mean. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you target the right version of the framework. Because otherwise, if we add new APIs, uh, you will not get the latest APIs because you're targeting an older version. So and currently, uh, the, the current version of .NET Core is 1.2. Uh, we will probably, or not probably, we will definitely rename this uh, because we decided that 1.2 is really called 2.0. Uh, but these are nightlies, and we haven't done the rename yet, so the current name is 1.2. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a runtime identifier set. Uh, that's currently required. This will probably disappear because we make the build smart enough to infer that. Uh, but on my machine, I'm targeting Windows 10 x64, so you want to use that. If you're running on OS X, uh, you should use the OS X ones. Um, easiest way to find out which ones is valid, you just say .NET Core runtime identifier. 
And in our documentation, uh, you can find which other identifiers we have. So this is the one that I'm using right now because I'm running Windows 10. Uh, if you're running on one of those Linux distros, uh, use those. And uh, OS X, uh, one of these here. All right, so we have that. Um, the last thing you need to do right now is um, our latest build drops will infer the package from your TFM. But you probably want to use a specific uh, package because you want to really consume more on nightlies. Uh, the way you currently consume on nightlies is via NuGet. Um, that's why we have the feed registered here. Moving forward, we are probably going to change that uh, to do uh, this in an easier way. So you can just run a command line um, like .NET install runtime or something like that. Right now, this is all done via NuGet. So um, in order for you to get the latest bits, what you do is you specify this package ref and you put the version number of the nightly drop that you want to consume. So the, uh, what you want to do in order to find those numbers is you go to this nightly feed here, which points to our myget uh, feed. And uh, basically all you have to do is you just pick a number. Most cases you will probably just use the latest version. So you just copy and paste that guy here um, and paste that over. And so that's the build that I'm going to use. The other thing you want to make sure is that you use the update statement here, not the include one, because you really want to replace whatever the SDK uh, gives you by default. That's why we use update and not include. Again, this is probably going to change because we only simplify the tooling, but that's what you currently have to do. All right, so we have the project set up. We have the new config set up. Now let's actually change our program to take advantage of one of the new APIs that we added so I can actually verify uh, that this actually works. So to do this, we just go here um, to our uh, representation that we have there. And we just paste this guy over. And so we added this uh, web utility HTML uh, decode uh, as part of our .NET standard 2.0 work. Um, so this is an API that wasn't included in .NET uh, Core 1.1. So this is uh, something that you know indicates that our nightlies actually work. So now you have all of that. The first thing you want to do is you want to run .NET Restore to actually make sure you download um, the latest package. Um, if this looks like this, you did something right because it means uh, your machine has never seen those bits, so it will download all those packages. It's a great moment to uh, grab a coffee, your favorite soda, whatever it is. Ah, already fit. Oh, oh, already done. Great. So the one thing you see here is that um, these are the config files that are being used. If this one doesn't show up, uh, you probably didn't spell it correctly. And it also shows you which, which feeds were used. Um, uh, and again, it shows you that the myget feed was used. So great. Now we can run this whole thing. Don't let run. And we see our output as expected. All right, guys. So I showed you how you can consume our nightly builds. Two things I want to make sure you get away from this is first, the instructions are in our CoreFX uh, documentation. Please consult them every single time you uh, download uh, another nightlies uh, because we probably change that over time. And the second thing is these are nightlies. These are hot bits. Don't rely on them in production. It's great for play with the things we have done over the last you know, days or weeks on uh, GitHub. It's great for giving us feedback. It's great for playing around with the bits. It's not so great for deploying production apps with that. All right. I hope you found this useful. If you did, uh, please give this video a like and maybe also consider subscribing. Awesome. Thank you.